Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm back with my brother, Sabr Muhammad. Uh, uh, we gonna continue on with the second half of his story of how he converted to Islam and the, uh, and the journeys he's been through as being a Muslim, inshallah ta'ala. So, um, when we left off on the last one, you was talking about your, um, your premonitions, you feel me? Uh, but you, uh, I want you to go back over on the, uh, the spider story, because that was on the second one. Huh? Oh, the spider. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Um, see, with being a new uh, person in Islam, revert in Islam, uh, you don't know the history. So you don't know, you know, the significance of the, the spider. You don't know that the Sunnah is three. You know what I mean? You don't know these things. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, once I, I'm asleep, and the spider, the feeling in my hand, three times. That's it. I bang the bunk, get up. We gotta find. There's a spider in the cell. So three times, and the spider in my, and the spider in the cell. Like, so once we finish cleaning, I look at the salat more, uh, uh, chart, and I say, wait a minute, what time is it? So I go and look outside. Sure enough, it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala waking me up for Salat because later on, once I started reading more into Islam, I find out about the spider. If it wasn't for the spider, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala caused the spider to make a well waving wolf web over the mouth of the cave. So the Kufar, the Quraysh, they couldn't find the Prophet Sallallahu and Abu Bakr on. So this is the significance of the spider. And then the three times that something in my hand, that's Sunnah. Three times from the wudu, three times, you know what I mean? Yeah, so. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Talk about your first Ramadan. How was that for you? Like? Oh, the first Ramadan, um, yeah. uh, like I said, I, I actually took Shahada in Ramadan. Well, mashallah. Yeah, alhamdulillah. So, Mine was like a week before, or two weeks before, or something right, like that. Right. But I was already fasting, though. Mashallah. That's crazy. I, I hadn't taken Shahada yet. But I was already fasting because my mind was made up. You know what I mean? So I, I had already previously done Ramadan before um, at uh, different uh, places um, and not even Muslim, just to do it. You know what I mean? Um, but, you know, actually being a Muslim and knowing uh, the beauty of it and, you know, like I said, just reading behind it and coming to find out about the Kaaba. You know what I mean? When you circumvent the Kaaba. Yeah. It's just yeah, it's just, it's 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 a beautiful it's a it's a beautiful thing, man. Just all of the rich, you know, Safa and Moro, sleeping in Mina and Mosdelifa and different things like that when you're on Hajj, it's just like you know, for them to be there doing it and we here in spirit with them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you know, um You been on Hajj before? I wish. Man, I wanna go back <laughs> I wish man, a lot of lives to go together. I so, mean so, I mean so, Um but no, so you know, my first Ramadan was in an ASEG prison cell, so it wasn't, it wasn't, <laughs> I was, it was just uh, sitting, you know what I mean. But um, Ramadan's prior, like like after that, um, uh, the next two was still in prison, um, and we was just moving from prison to prison. So you know, we was in Arizona, um, me and my brother Ish, Ishmael Hamid, he from uh, he from Oakland, he out here, uh, inshallah, he tapped in. You see me, bro. But um, uh, yeah, we just had to establish just the whole Islamic, you know, community in the prison all over again every time we went somewhere else. Because in Arizona, they were shutting down the California contracts, so they move us to all these different little spots, you know. Um, so it was basically a struggle. So I was in jihad. You know what I mean? Just struggling with the prison system just to get what we was coming, what, what was supposed to have coming to us, you know. But it's beautiful because when you fight for Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, it's good in your scale. You know what I mean? And then he make the fight easier than it should be too. You be like, man, that's a lot easier than yeah. I thought it was all, gonna be. <laughs> always send aid. He always send aid. You know what I mean to the believers. You know? Yeah. It's a beautiful thing, man. It's the best thing to like. If you want to uh, be Muslim, man, I suggest you do it. It's the best thing that you could ever do. Like, what would be some advice that you have for someone that's interested in learning about Islam or, or interested in becoming Muslim, but they kind of shy or they not they haven't made their mind all the way up yet to make the the reversion? Uh, my advice to someone 
who wants to revert, you already did it with the thought. So you already Muslim. As soon as you think it, it happened. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open your breastplate. But don't just read anything. Don't just watch any lecture. Be careful where you take your Islam from. Yeah, that's very um, true. Because you can be led astray into thinking of one thing and doing one thing. And the whole time it's not even the Sirot or Mustaqim. Yeah, that's true. Um, very true. And I would say, just take your time and read it. Read Islam with an open heart and an open mind. Because just reading the Quran for a book, you think you're just going to open it and just read it. You're going to get a feeling. Because this is the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But you have to know what, why it was revealed, where it was revealed, and what it was revealed for. Mm -hmm. Because it was revealed over a 23 year period. Yeah, that way you know how you can apply it to your life. Exactly. So just take your time with it and just read. Take your time with it and just read. But once you already have that thought, you're already Muslim. So you you Muslim already. As soon as you think it, it's done. Mm -hmm. Just say la ilaha illallah. Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and irregardless of a person questioning you being real tedious about witnesses and who done this that or the other nobody knows your heart only Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala knows your heart and if you ever say that you're a Muslim and somebody rejects you because of a witness or something like that then that means that there's insufficientness in his deen mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah 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 Why you at? Yeah man um it's a beautiful thing to just to know Allah and to know His Messenger and to, and to try to apply His His uh, teachings into our everyday life and to follow Him and live by Him. Um, you know, nobody's perfect, but we all got to strive, you know, for the best of our ability to be the best Muslim and the best human being possible. You know, um, yeah, that's all we can do. Life. Every every day is a struggle. Yeah. That's all we can do is try, but just always know that. The one whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the, the, excuse me, the one whom the shaitan attacks, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves him. Mm -hmm. yeah. So take your, so, 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 so take it patiently. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you are patient, I will send down 5,000 of the top angels to assist you at the readiness. And then 3,000, and then 1,000, there's different, different, different mm -hmm. ayahs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so just stay patient, you know, have sabr, you feel me, like my brother's name. Sabr. You know? And, uh, and just, and never lose hope in the mercy of Allah, you know, that's a trait of the disbelievers. Allah's mercy is 99 parts with him, and it's only one part here, you know, so hmm. we got to always have faith in that, and, and know that the door of repentance is open until the day of Yom Qiyamah, inshallah. And anything else you want to throw in, Akhi? Uh, um... Tap on. Yeah. I, I know I, I appreciate you just for um you know having me you know man, I appreciate with, with, you as well <laughs> Habibi man you my hot man all the time bro I got to make my time. first salat with the brother you know all uh, the time that was a beautiful thing man man um, you know, allow us to do many more together. yeah uh, my advice uh just to any revert um give the dawah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and don't let, never lose hope. Always make it. Always offer the salat because the five pillars of Islam: La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, salat, siyam, zakat, hajj. Always offer the salat because if you lose the second, the first goes right along with it. When you leave the salat, that's accepting kufr. But. Just like the brother said, there's the door of repentance is open until your minor kiyama. Until your minor kiyama, the door of repentance is open. Mm -hmm. um, the minor is when you die. Mm -hmm. The major is the assembly. Mm -hmm. So just always be vigilant. Always have a mind to be hospitable. Know what the manners and characteristics is. Are the uh, of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, so that way you can implement it in your life. And I hope I've given someone a benefit from this whole one, two, three step we've been taking. <laughs> nice meeting you, brothers. Inshallah, I see you. You see me. We can dialogue. Whatever. You're my brother.
الحمد لله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. And real quick before we go, I know you see us with the nice gear on. You feel me? The hood and the Muslim. It represents the transition from 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 the hood to Islam. You know, uh, I mean the struggle. La 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 la. And how we came from that and into the Dean. You know, and uh, if you guys want to get you one, you know, tap in with me. I got all kind of color sizes and everything. Inshallah to Allah. So um, I love y'all for the sake of Allah. May Allah bless you all with Jannatul Firdaus and. Give you the highest levels of paradise for your family uh, and everybody that that's in the Ummah, inshallah ta'ala. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.